Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to build multi-step form in Vue.js Inertia and Laravel Breeze. This is an example, a simple example with just a few fields in each step, calculating the price of a journey from country to country, but the approach can be used in much more complicated forms. And this is a video version of a recent tutorial we published on Laravel Daily.com and premium tutorial section. So in addition to courses, we also publish premium tutorials here on top, which is basically just longer versions of certain demo projects or topic kind of deeper dive. So 4,000 words is pretty deep. And in this video, I will demonstrate the code, the main things that you need to know. But if you want to have the text-based tutorial and the access to the repository, the link to the premium tutorial will be in the description below. So this is the code. And let's start first with the database. So there's a table called cities with price for adult and children. So ticket price, basically, it's kind of a fake artificial example. So you would understand there's country and city. So the first dynamic behavior of that form is country and city depending dropdown. So if you choose United States, then you have cities from US. And then if you choose United Kingdom, we have London and Birmingham here. So that is implemented in the Vue.js. And then if we choose the city, for example, UK, London, we click next, then the tab gets here, then we choose that we travel to New York, for example, next, and then we choose the amount of passengers, for example, two adults and three children, we submit, and we have the redirect to success page with the price calculated from those adult children numbers and the price of city. Now, how does it work in the code? Keep in mind, it's only one of the approaches, some details can be done differently and structure of the form can be done differently. We can, of course, discuss everything in the comments below. So we use Laravel Breeze as a starter kit with view inertia version of Laravel Breeze. That's why we have dashboard as a view component already, but we override the default behavior of Laravel Breeze. Dashboard points to Laravel controller, which returns inertia render for the dashboard. Passing the countries and cities from the database to be rendered in the form. Now, if we go to that dashboard.view, which is basically the main view component of this project, what do we have here? The layout from Breeze, inertia with use form. Use form is very important because we will be working with inertia forms. Then those countries and cities passed from the controller, as you saw. Then we set up the variable of current step, which is default one. And then we'll jump in steps one, two, and three. And then we define the data structure for the form. This is use form from inertia. And these are basically the variables that we will be working with within Vue.js component. Then there's submit function, and I will get to that a bit later. Now let's take a look at the template, at the HTML part of the view component. That part comes from Laravel Breeze, so the head and the layout, and this is where we get to our form. First, on top, we have three buttons. So those tabs are basically buttons one after another with a few Vue.js properties. So first, on click of Vue.js, we change the value of that current step. Next, depending on the current step value, we provide the style, basically active tab, which is just different CSS styling. And at the end of it, another property disabled, which is disabling the next steps until the current step is finished. So you cannot jump between the steps in this case. And then we have the form below with submit prevent submit method for the full form. Then if the current step is one, we render the first part of the form with one select from country form step one from country, which corresponds to this variable here. Then we go for each loop of props countries that you saw already above. And then below that select field, we return form errors. And this is important. And this is where inertia is beneficial. And we'll get to the validation a bit later in this video. So this is the form step number one, almost identical step number two, because there are also two drop downs just with different names. So two country, two country, step two here, but the logic is pretty similar. And then the third step, current step equals three, then this becomes visible. Two different inputs, vModel step three adults, but the logic is the same. A few inputs with vModel, vShow, nothing really too fancy here in terms of Vue.js. And then the submit button, this is interesting. And there are a few approaches how you can do that. You can basically split that form into three forms, or you can have one form with one submit button. It's your personal preference. So in this case, we're playing with the label of the button. So it's next until that's 
current step three and then it changes to submit and this is where we get to the actual submit of the form so in any of those cases even when the clicking is on next we still call the submit method from Vue.js but then inside of that submit method on top if the current step is one or two all we need to do is just increase the current step so we don't do any validation the validation comes at the very end this is again your personal preference you may validate something along the way as well but in our case we validate everything on the back end except for of course html validation like required here for example if we scroll down so we have select here and here we have required so that's html level validation and then we go to the validation on the back end which is then powered by laravel controller so we have form post to a specific laravel route and then in case of errors we will show them i will get to that in a minute but the general flow is this we have route post to the same laravel controller just different method of store and here we have form request validation in terms of structure it's this it's corresponding to the same structure as in the Vue.js component then in the store method we calculate the price and then here we would save the order to the database but we skip that part because the tutorial is not about that it's about multi-step form and interaction between the steps so we calculate the price and we redirect to success page and in this case we're just passing the price as a parameter in the session which would be visible on the screen in the route success so route success is a separate route in routes web which is route inertia to the component of success.view which is showing the price from here and this is again one of the options how you can deal with it for example another option would be store the order to the database and in here redirect not to success page but to the page of order with id as a parameter in the url or somewhere else and then that price would come from the database not from the session but in general if you want to pass some parameter like dynamic text here you can do that in the redirect with name and variable value and then in inertia you could of course create route get with laravel controller but general Vue.js component also may pass or may accept parameters from the properties the global properties of that page which is defined in a file called middleware handle inertia requests so in here you may share for example all the auth details to be visible for example on top these ones so name probably is visible here from what i remember in laravel breeze but then also you can provide more variables here for example from the session which would be accessible again with use page props and then your variable name the final thing to show is validation so if something is wrong here so form request returns false and returns that validation didn't pass then the interesting part is happening here on error we get the first key of that error and then we try to calculate which is the step when that error appears it may be from the first step so we need to activate that so current step value is the number from that calculation let me demonstrate so for example if we choose united states new york and choose the same city of new york this would cause the validation error next but that validation error appears only after submitting the full form wait why is that minus anyway submit and then the validation error comes from laravel validation rule which is in the form request so this one fires different step one from city and you can override the error messages by providing the messages method in that form request class but basically it is passed to the step two to city field and we automatically set that current step value to two instead of three so yeah this is our approach one of the approaches how you would create multi-step form with view and inertia what do you think what would you have done differently we can of course discuss in the comments below and again the full text tutorial with the link to the repository is available for premium members of laravel daily and i will link that tutorial in the description below that's it for this time and see you guys in other videos